Hey, it's Robin Hobbs. I'm the owner of La Prix, and uh, since the shop has been closed, I figured I would talk to you guys and show you how to get creative with measuring your body when you're online shopping. Because as a stylist, I know that's typically the biggest concern is you like it online, how do you know it's gonna fit you? So I'm gonna just show you, get creative, and uh, even show you how to measure your body. So if you don't have a soft measuring tape at home, you're kind of thinking, how can I do this? So I got some stuff in my house and got creative. So you could use things like literally these Mardi Gras beads. These are excess ones from New Year's Eve Gatsby party. Uh, you can cut a section because literally this, <coughs> you have might have a ton just like me. Uh, another option, if that's totally not your thing, you might have a long necklace that you can actually open and use that to measure as well. So. If you do have one of these things and you have a measuring tape, because these are not soft to bend around your body, you can, like see, not easy. Um, all you do is when you measure your body, so say you're taking this necklace as your benchmark and uh, you're measuring it, all you'll do is compare the end to the end of that measurement and then you can see the size. So, I'm gonna show you, because you're like, what is she even mean? I'll, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so typically one of the most concerning parts will be your bust. So you would find the widest part under your shoulders, making sure to go over the flat part of your shoulder blades in the back, in the high part, and then across the widest part of your chest. As you can see, this necklace is kind of at its maximum. Uh, so you might want to find something else that's longer if that's the case. So anyway, then you would, for me, I pretty much, I use the entire necklace. So I would just measure it to find out the measurement of the bust. So now if you're thinking waist, so I'm in a flowy shirt, but if I kind of pull a little bit more snug, you can see there's a natural waist. Depends on every single body, it's different. So you'll just kind of find the smallest part of the natural waist. So you want to make it comfortably loose. You don't want to tighten it so you can't breathe. You're just trying to find a natural waist. Um, as you can see, just finding, keeping it comfortable, not saggy, but not like you have to suck in. You don't want to be sucking in because that means with your clothes, you're going to be sucking in. <laughs> so you'll do that. And then again, you'll keep a mark on the end and then you would just measure the distance to the end. So for example, it would be a 31 inch waist. So for hips now, uh, I'm gonna grab the gold one because my hip and my butt might be too bigger. Um, I'm just gonna use this big piece, leave it on the ground. So you can, again, you wanna find the natural widest part of your hips so you can see that kind of, with a white background, it's a lot easier. Uh, you can see it's the widest part. And then again, I want to get the widest part because you don't want to have clothes that are going to squish you and you can't sit down. So then you would just go around the widest part, make sure it's comfortable, again, mark it, and then you would measure from this end to this end. And then I'm just going to get a pair of pants for an another example. So. I know a lot of you right now are loving high rise. So, again, you're trying to figure out what's the rise, especially if it's vintage or secondhand. Um, you don't know how it's gonna fit. Every brand is different. Obviously, you can message the companies, but if not, you can see these pair of pants. These ones are just a cotton high waisted pant, but we'll show you here. So, you can see the top of it, and there's like a fake, well, actually, it's not fake, it's real. <laughs> there's a zipper. And you can see that it has a seam to the end. So you can actually, on your favorite pair of high-waisted pants or whatever, it could be regular pants or a cute comfy jogger, because a lot of us at home are trying to be a lot more comfortable. Essentially, you'll just measure the, you can measure from the zipper, but you can also measure from the inseam right here. And then high-rise is around like nine to 10 inches. This one is 10 inches. So it's a good guess. You can use the clothes you have home. 
uh, as a benchmark because you know it fits you, you know you like it. Uh, I deal with that a lot in direct messages on Instagram. So if you're thinking, will this shirt be comfortable for me? Um, I'll pull another example up. So this is all new arrivals at Laprie. So this one is a Wilfred shirt, it's cotton. If you can see, it's getting a little, there we go. There's no stretch. So this is where you can be a little concerned. Is it gonna fit me or not? So you'll just lie your shirt on the ground, flat, and then just essentially measure end to end, double it, and that'll be the circumference of your body that's comfortable, especially if it's the same material. Some materials have stretch, some don't. Read the material breakdown to know if there's gonna be some give or not, or reach out to uh, Lepre and I can help you, or reach out to whatever brands you're supporting um, where they can give you measurements and questions answered. Uh, if you're thinking about necklaces, okay, you know, I like how long they are, or like the ones I have, I kinda want some more styles, or maybe some layering pieces. So I'm just gonna take my own necklace. That uh, is a great example. And if you're wondering, hmm, what, uh, what length of necklace do I like on me? What's, what's a good length? Again, you'll just measure end to end. So for a mid-level length that I have, I'll just see what it is. It is 16 inches. Awesome. So if you want a good layering piece, just add another two inches because it'll be an inch collectively lower because you need to do two sides. So if you want to have like a nice look, just do an increments of two inches and it'll be a great layering piece. And then if you're thinking earrings, you know, uh, how long are they? I Maybe you have short hair and you like to have a bold piece and then you're wondering like, where will they fit? I mean, these ones are really glam ones. These ones are like really nice and feathery and floaty uh but you know you want to know where it hits on you so again use your earrings at home as a benchmark and then you'll just measure from the top because this is where it's going to hang from to where it hangs from so it's six inches <laughs> uh anyway and then you can use that at home for your benchmark to see if you like length uh, and where it hits you. Anyway, I hope these were really great tips on how to shop online and get things that actually fit you so you don't have to return them and uh, enjoy, you know, taking care of yourself and, uh, you know, keep your routine, get dressed. I mean, wear some comfy clothes. I'm wearing a silk shirt and uh, I'm here for you. And you can shop online at lampreeclothing.com or you can shop my Instagram. And also I'm going to be doing some fun, sustainable fashion oriented learning and tips. Thanks so much. Bye.